Happy March 4th, everyone. I'm Liam, and we are playing the 2024 Quest Calendar by Sundial Games, the Leaf Riders of Renwood. When last we played, Ivy added a pet horn beetle tank to the entourage, so the party is shaping up. We've got Ivy, Bright Feather, the White Raven Royal Guard, and let's see, Vinnie Trickthorn, the world famous, allegedly, Squirrel Swashbuckler. We've got Disco, the Dexterous Lightning Bug, and um, Tank, the Wise Horn Beetle. So, we are ready for some more adventure. So let's see what is on the calendar for us today. We've got a map. Um, the weather is typically pleasant this time of year. Searching for some herbs nearby could be relaxing after recent events. Uh, looking here, we've got the burrow down in the bottom right. That is where Tak was from. And the Gleaming Brook is the river, one of the rivers that runs by Crown Spire. Um, and the Waiting Woods to the north. And it looks like we're going to go uh, one, two, three, four, five. We've got five spots here. Um, and it looks not telling us to go in, in whatever order we want. So I think we're supposed to just go in the order that they're numbered. <clears throat> I don't see any hidden icons on this page. So let's just do it. Area 1. So we are right outside the Crown Spire city, just to the east there. A miller just outside of the city has a private garden that happens to have some oak wart that you seek. No one appears to be around to ask for permission. Uh, neither are they present to see you steal from the garden if you choose to. If you decide to steal from them, lose one virtue. Okay. And we could gain some uh, oak wart. We have three oak wart that we bought from uh, the market. So I think we'll just hope that that's enough. And, uh, and Ivy's going to not spend a point of virtue um she's too interested in that i think we don't want to lose our boon die there uh area two so moving on uh we're moving towards the burrow into some hills maybe you find an old graveyard nestled near the burrows some mud caps are growing on the ground around the graves as you disturb the area uh oh a restless spirit is awoken and a frightening voice demands that you leave Roll d20 plus charisma, reminder persuasive. We are not persuasive. We're intimidating, but it's not giving us a bonus for <laughs> intimidating restless spirit, I guess. Um, our charisma is plus zero, and I don't think we have anything that will give us a bonus to that. So it's just a straight d20. Four is not good. Uh, the unseen spirit begins to throw stones at you. You leave after collecting two mudcaps. Okay, well, we're up to four there. Four mudcaps. Uh, we're collecting these ingredients, by the way, um, to help Master Laurel with some ritual that he's going to do at the Tree of Seasons, which has been poisoned by King Rathex's minions. Um, and uh, Master Laurel seems to think the harmony of the world is at stake, so... Uh, pretty important tasks here. So uh, we've got our mud caps. Uh, let's move on to area three. We're moving along the river. Yep, along the gleaming brook, you see a small herd of gentle bugs eating some of the only hazel root you've spotted all day. Uh, we have two from the market. Uh, roll d20 plus wisdom. Reminder, bug tamer. We are not a bug tamer. Uh, we have no bonus to wisdom there. We could try to activate tank's ability. Let's do that just for fun. So we're going to roll a d20. Well, first we're going to draw a card. What is tank stuff here? We need to draw a card. These have been shuffled. I'm going to draw the card off the top here. We need a club greater than four, and it is not. So uh, no harm, no foul. No. Uh, Tank is fine. He doesn't get hurt from our attempt to use him. But we also don't activate his ability. So no bonus there. And nothing else that can really help us here. So this is just a straight D20. That's a 6. 
Um, <laughs> it's the worst one again. You shoo the bugs away to collect two hazel root. Okay. Before they swarm again. Uh, so we're up to four hazel root as well. I am right now thinking I'm glad I bought out that market stall. Um, uh, what else happens here? One bug bites your hand by accident. Um, reduce your health by one. Okay. That's our that's the first damage we've taken here. So we're at 12. That's okay. All right, moving away from the river into the waiting woods, area four. At the edge of the waiting woods, you discover a hidden clearing filled with rare plants and herbs. Someone often comes to forage here and has set up traps to keep others away from these valuable plants. Well, D20 plus dexterity, reminder, danger sense. We do have danger sense, and our dexterity is plus one. I get plus two to all rolls to avoid traps and surprise hazards. So we get a plus three here. And we got a nimble cap we could use. Um, but I think, and we haven't been rolling great. Let's try a different die. So d20 plus three. Nine plus three is 12. That's the middle result here. Collect one mud cap and one oak wart before a net falls on you. Uh, and then nothing happens. Uh, area five, yeah, no, nothing really. Nothing happens here with the net. I guess we get out of the net just okay. <laughs> it's just an annoyance. So we got a mud cap and an oak wart. So we have five mud cap and four oak wart. Okay. Area five. Boy, we are making the we are making the rounds here. This feels like a big area to explore, but we are a raven, so maybe we're flying. Area five. You stumble upon an old herbalist's hut along the outskirts of the woods. The herbalist has valuable knowledge of the surrounding flora. Hello there. I don't get many visitors. I can certainly help you with the ingredients you seek. If your virtue, oh good. If your virtue is more than one, we're at two. The herbalist gives you one hazel root, one oak wart, and one mud cap. So we now have six, six mud caps, five hazel root, and five oak wart. Uh, we could have slightly more of all those things, but I'm feeling pretty good about those numbers. So, um, the last time we did this kind of thing, though, was with thatch. Uh, and the math was pretty rough there, so we shall see how this plays out. Um, but uh, that, my friends, is March 4th. And uh, so we shall say goodbye for today. Visit Ivy and friends again tomorrow. I hope you'll join us. Thanks for watching.